Hello students, uh, welcome to Guru Charan College Silchar. So on behalf of the exam cell Guru Charan College, uh, this is uh, Dr. Debashi Sharma. Uh, I am here to uh, let you know uh, about the instructions, rules and uh, the uh, process of the online exam that is uh, going to be held from 29th uh, September organized by Assam University. So first of all, let me make it clear that the rules and that I am uh, the instruction that I am giving you is specifically for GC college students. Uh, every college because the Assam University has um, uh, given responsibility to the respective colleges to conduct the uh, process of online exams. So uh, the method used in various colleges will be different. So students, uh, if you have uh, centers other than GC college, so please do not go through this video. Only students of GC College Center should go through this video and uh, note the instructions properly. Okay. So uh, in uh, GC College, what we have done is uh, all the links for the examinations and all will be provided inside uh, through email inside Google Classroom. Okay. We have already created list of students and already uh, for 29th uh, September we have almost uh, added. Uh, the students in the respective Google classrooms. Okay, so do not uh, search for the link here and there. Do not um, uh, uh, fall prey to any sort of rumors or um, uh, spreading in WhatsApp and all that. Here is the link. There is the link. You will receive your own link in your own email ID. That's it. that is the message I want to spread. Do not believe in any other rumors. Okay. If you have registered for online exam under GC college, then you should contact only me that is Debashi Sharma from exam cell. Okay, my phone number, email ID, everything is given. So better please contact me if you have not received the verification email, the form for verification, the email contains the form for verification, which is mandatorily to be filled up by the students appearing online examination. So we have received. 544 applications so far and out of this 490 candidates have verified as of now and there are few remaining candidates who have sent me mails and uh, SMS uh, for, for some uh, minor pro pro corrections and I will uh, I will do this corrections by by tomorrow itself okay since the last few days I was quite busy with uh, organizing these things so around 50 students probably you have not uh, been able to verify your email address but do not panic there is nothing to panic i am there with you okay i am there with you uh, you don't have to pan panic just uh, inform me for in case of any any problem that you are facing okay if you have not received the mail you please be patient i will be going through the sms and whatsapp messages that i have got and i will uh, surely inf uh, yeah include your numbers and resolve all your all your problems okay so do not panic mm -hmm. so first of all let, let us go through these in instructions uh, so in the google classroom you will be receiving uh, all updates regarding the exams and all okay as part of your uh, exam dates we have created the classes so if you are having say political science pass on 29th uh, september at say 9 9 am or to 12 uh, 12 noon Okay, you, you, you will automatically get the Google Classroom invitation for that particular uh, day at that particular time in advance. Okay, so for 29th, we have created all the Google Classrooms of the exams that are going to be held in 20, on 29th. If you are having another exam on 3rd, you will get a separate link uh, via email to join that particular classroom. Okay, so if you have 5 subjects, you have to join 5 Google Classroom. Do not search anywhere you will get all the link in your own email id okay that is why verifying the email id is the most important process in appearing the online exam through gc college okay right so after you receive the thing so let me share uh, this screen with you then you will be able to understand okay uh, yeah let me share this screen with you uh, yeah all uh, okay so this uh, screen is visible so from the administrative panel i have already 
joined in the Google Meet. Okay. So what you should do is I'll just uh, in a moment I'll share my mobile screen. Uh, so I have given the link uh, to join the class uh, to my email ID. Okay, I'll join the classroom from that uh, Google Classroom app. Okay, so uh, all of you please download Google Classroom app. If it is already downloaded, please uh, upgrade it. Okay, from the Play Store, you please up upgrade it. And uh, Google Drive app, you update it. Okay, and Google Meet. These three apps are very much important. And the most important thing, appear test from your own device. Do not use any uh, friend's device. Okay. I mean, uh, it has been seen that many students are uh, means some students i'll not say many some students are using uh, mobile device of uh, somebody else okay and they are facing problem in getting those uh, uh, yeah getting those uh, links and all okay so here i am so i am joining uh, yeah i am joining here from my mobile device so uh, once you click the Google Meet link from the Google Classroom, you will uh, we will get a notification here and we will add. Okay. 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 Just, yeah. Just let me check uh, whether it's working or not. Yeah. Hello. It's working. Okay. So once you uh, join, we'll see. So the mobile screen that you can see is me, uh, the student. Okay. From the own mobile screen so uh, when the exam begins uh, when you join the google class meet you should place your mobile in such a way that it should not uh, uh, it should not move okay you, you should pl uh, place it in a stationary position okay suppose i have placed it in a stationary position in the table uh, on the table okay so it's not moving you should do do that and it should be placed in such a way that you, your face is clearly visible to us and your uh, the that you are writing whatever you are writing that is also clearly visible to us okay so that is what you have to do right uh, just let me uh, uh, let me just share this screen to show you what happens okay okay so you you can see my mobile screen on on the on the video okay so just let me go back to this so once i enter the google classroom okay let me just uh, go to this mm -hmm. after opening my google classroom app okay so suppose uh, this is the class that i have created simple sample you will get the name of the class in your google classroom app only automatically okay once you join right so so, uh, so enter that classroom suppose i have entered the sample classroom you will see there is an assignment from uh, the exam cell gc college okay so uh, you click on this particular assignment okay after after clicking on this as assignment you will see as you can see on the screen uh, some instructions are given so there are basically three, four steps to to complete the process the first step is download the question paper okay so you can click on this download uh, question paper link there is a uh, link provided okay after you click uh, it will ask you by which uh, uh, app you want to open this so preferably you open it with google drive okay so there is an option called google drive so you can see it on screen so i have opened it using google drive in my mobile i have uh, i have been using several email id so uh, i will choose the email id uh, for for which i have registered for the google classroom okay this is the most important point in your mobile you make sure that you are using only one email id you sign out from all other e email accounts okay and use the email id that you have registered with us okay not any other email id okay right and then click okay so you will see uh, it will open in a pdf pdf format okay it will open in a pdf format the question paper okay after that what you have to do you see there are three dots three dots in the top corner okay so on these three dots you click after clicking you will see there are several options so uh, there is an option called download okay so you do, you download this particular file okay so one item will be downloaded so there you will get some notification so it will be downloaded okay if you are uh, you if you already have a printer with you you can also click the print option 
okay it, it, it is always better if you have a printer with you uh, but if you don't have also don't worry you can just download it put it uh, somewhere in some other device and uh, go through that question paper right so it's always uh, better to print it okay but uh, during the exam you, you won't have sufficient time for printing uh, only if the printer is available at your home only then you try to print okay otherwise you just keep keep it downloaded okay and so after you download the question paper you'll see there is another uh, link called give your attendance okay the second link the second step so click on that uh, or instead of clicking what you do is yeah if you click it will open directly in a different uh, browser in the default browser okay so in the default browser there may be some problem in uh, uh, submitting the, uh, the this called attendance okay if you are facing problem you open it in google chrome browser okay preferably you open it in google chrome browser okay so you type in your registration number etc uh, uh, most probably we will provide the drop down okay so you don't have to type the numbers also we will provide a drop down if uh, if i can get everything right okay so then registration number roll number your uh, uh, yeah this is the roll number then i am entering the name okay right so something like this and then click submit okay so you will get a response like this more, more uh, attendance your response has been recorded okay so after you click the submit button we will get a notification that yes this per, per student has recorded his attendance okay uh, okay all, all the while you keep your google classroom google classroom open okay google classroom uh, app should be open okay see here also these apps are open in my uh, mobile okay these apps are open google meet is open okay google classroom is everything is open okay so we can shift from one app to other so do not close the google classroom right next uh, so to, to join the meeting you click the join google meet link so here i have already joined for demonstration so i'll just go back again here right okay so, so so after that your process of examination will start you start writing your uh, answer script on uh, white sheets of paper a4 sheets of paper okay and after that you scan those using any scanner app okay so uh, there are several scanner apps cam scanner um, this office uh, yeah my, oh, sorry office lens adobe scan okay lots of scanner apps are available you choose any scanner app make sure you uh, download it uh, today itself if you have you if you don't do not have scanner app with you make sure you download it today itself and install it in your computer okay and then uh, what you do is after you scan it as a pdf document uh, and after your um, this examination is over um, we will open the link for uploading doc documents uh, 15 minutes before the uh, exam ends so even if you uh, end your exam at one hour at one hour you have to remain seated in the in the same place with your video on your video should be kept on okay you should remain seated there for one hour and uh, after that when we instruct you should uh, start uploading your question paper okay uh, so sorry answer script okay just i'll show you how to upload the answer script uh, okay present screen okay so while the exam is going on please do not present your screen so here i am uh, just for demonstration i am presenting my screen to show you okay so once you see this uh, so, so there is an option the fourth fourth step after you write your exam okay it may be around 10 pages 12 pages whatever pages you write please make sure that you uh, give your roll number registration number okay and subject code in every page of the answer scripts okay write in one side of the paper it will be easier for you to scan okay and write page numbers page one page two page three page four so that uh, during the exam you are not in a hurry and uh, you can scan the pages as part the page numbers okay that is very important right scan the pages as part of the page numbers okay so that uh, it is easier for you for the examiners also to check and write make sure you write your roll number registration number in every page of the answer scripts okay so you see there is an option upload your scanned pdf answer script okay so click on that option after after you click on uh, that option it will ask you for some number and all 
okay so enter your number uh, something like this it will ask for your uh, name okay right and upload your answer script okay so there is an option called upload your answer script so there you try to add okay so there are several options one is upload from my drive okay another is upload for com from computer okay so if uh, usually upload for from computer works but uh, for some students and uh, for some mobiles upload from for computer may not work okay in that case you upload your uh, answer script in your google drive and then select select your answer script from this particular drive okay select your answer script from this drive okay so suppose i select uh, this particular answer script from the drive okay i have selected this okay it's uh, uploading right after it's uploaded it's it will show a message and then it you click submit okay your response has been recorded okay so once you get this message you are sure that your uh, file has been uploaded of course we will also confirm okay after your after uploading you again come back to the google meet okay you keep everything everything open okay so see uh, the google meet is also open here in my device the browser is also open here the google google classroom is also open here okay so you keep all these three open okay do not exit from this okay do not exit from this so what what, what will happen is so uh, so you, you can see during the whole process my um, um, uh, i was there on screen okay i was there there on screen right so you keep uh, the, these things all the things open and again come back to this and then you can unmute yourself and then ask sir uh, whether you uh, we have received or not okay so we will get, give you a small confirmation okay uh, once we get the files uh, we we will just give you a conf confirmation that yes your uh, response has been recorded your your file has been uploaded okay so i hope you won't have any problem during the examinations for the registration part uh, i will take care of that there are around 40 or 50 students who could not uh, get themselves verified okay so i'll i'll check that that's not a problem do not panic okay do not panic right uh, yeah do not panic and uh, okay so do, do not panic uh, everything will be all right okay so all the best for your exams and if you are facing any other problem please let me know okay thank you